before WrestleMania gets going on Saturday, NXT is also coming to Dallas. NXT Stand and Deliver, that will take place WrestleMania Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, noon Central. So high noon in Big D at the American Airlines Center, a man that is going to be pivotal in that in that event joins me now on the Vaqueros Cafe and Cantina Hotline. Until last night, he was the NXT champion, but dead gum Dolph Ziggler just had to ruin everything. He is still the the gold standard, in my opinion, for NXT. He is Braun Breaker. Follow him on Twitter at Braun Breaker WWE. Braun, how you doing? Great, man. Thanks for having me on. Uh, all right, so let's let's get in. Let's start with last night. You were in the triple threat with Dolph Ziggler and Tommaso Ciampa. It looked like it was going to go your way. You're going to retain, and then Dolph Ziggler injects himself, and before you know it, Ziggler wins the title. Uh, I got to imagine, you know, it's it's painful for you as a loss. Although I got to suspect we might see a rematch here pretty soon between you and Dolph. Yeah, um, it, it, it's never um, it's never fun to lose, in my opinion. Um, you know, but I, I think this is uh, you know this in this in this defeat, it's going to teach me some things about adversity and um, and about failure. And I'm not, you know, I'm 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 using this and trying to turn this into a look at the positives and, and pick myself up, dust myself off, and figure out what kind of man that I am. Um, so, you know, in the, in the coming weeks or in the coming months, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to figure out who that is. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and the bad, and the bad thing was, cause it's a triple threat. You didn't even figure into the decision Dolph pinned Tommaso. So, um, you know, that's got to at least be a little bit of, uh, I guess a little bit of relief in that. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, you, you won the, you won the Georgia six, a, state wrestling championship 2016 in high school uh and then played special teams of running and running back at kennesaw state uh you even spent training camp with the baltimore ravens uh give me a lesson or two especially from football that you have carried over with you to nxt um i think it's just uh the, the mindset really um that I, I really took from Kennesaw State in, in college is just where our our, uh, our motto or catchphrase or whatever you want to call it back when I was in college was effort, attitude, and toughness. Um, and these are all controllable things that you can control on a daily basis. So, um, you know, when I show up to practice or show up to a lift or show up to film or w whatever, you know, whatever the case is, I can – no matter what's going on, I can control those three things, control my effort, how hard I work, control my attitude, try to be positive, try to be a leader. And, um, you know, I can control my toughness. And um, those are just, the, I, I still, I mean, the, those things were, you know, were just hammered into me in college. And then, and, and um, you know, I, I use all that stuff in my, my daily life, not just mm -hmm. athletics and stuff. So, right. That's, I mean, that's cool. By the way, what was it like, you know, uh, that short time you had with John Harbaugh and the Ravens? Um, it was, it was, it was good, man. I, uh, I enjoyed my time with them. Um, coach Harbaugh, I thought was a good coach and their, the Ravens organization is, is a, is a great organization. And, um, you know, I was just thankful to be a part of it. Yeah. John, uh, John Harbaugh is one of my favorite coaches. I've had a chance to visit with him a few occasions. Uh, let me ask you this. Of course you're, you know, you're part of that Steiner lineage, your father, the dog face gremlin, Rick Steiner, your uncle, Scott Steiner. Um, and you use elements from when they were active, you know, their WWE run and others, you know, you've got the, you, for instance, you use the singlet, the, the paint splatter singlet for, for, you know, for lack of a better term. Uh, I think at one time you even wore your dad's wrestling boots. Um, give me a little bit. I mean, I know they've had an influence on you, obviously you went in, the state wrestling championship in Georgia. Uh, just talk for a second about the influence 
that their run in professional wrestling has had on you? Um, I think it's, I said, I mean, everything to do with, I mean, why I wanted to be, to become a sports entertainer. Um, like just, I mean, I grew up in the business. I grew up in it. Yeah. So it's put food on the table for myself, and my family. Um, you know, it's just, it's the business has been my life. So obviously it's, I'm going to be influenced by what I'm, you know, what I'm growing up in and everything. And man, I, I just, I used to, just, I love their work and I, I just, I th they're, they're highly respected in the business as a tag team and, you know, as their singles competitors as well. And, you know, I mean, what, I can't think of a cooler, cooler job to have than to, to be a sports entertainer for WWE. There's just not one out there. Yeah. I mean, you, you dead and your uncle, you know, one of the greatest tag teams of all time, so decorated multiple tag team titles everywhere they went. Um, let me ask you this, uh, is, you know, especially your dad and your dad was in, was in the arena when you won the, when you won the NXT championship and that, I got, I know that was such a cool moment. What's the, what's the best advice that your father has given you about being in the business? Um, man, it, he didn't just, just, just be, just treat this like you treat any other sport to show up to the building be the hardest worker that you possibly can be um and just be respectful man and and treat people with respect and just handle this like you would handle anything else just be a good human being to people be respectful um you know that's all i'm trying to do man i just want to be a good human being and i want to be a positive influence on people and and um you know i, I kind of just kind of want to uh, impact people's lives like uh, certain guys when I was a kid impacted mine in the business and influenced me to be better in sports or influenced me to be a part of, uh, be a part of wrestling today. And it's, that's, that's all I'm trying to do. Yeah. I I've had, I've had the privilege of meeting your father, uh, in once and, and just, you know, like you said, just, a, a such a wonderful man. And it was so cool to just chat with him for a moment and uh real, real good, Real good man, and and as I said, one of the best in the business. Um, let's let's talk about Stand and Deliver coming April second to the American Airlines Center in Dallas. As I said, I know you you get, you got plans. I gotta imagine a rematch with Dolph for the title. But talk for a second about this will be the first time NXT's been outside the state of Florida uh, since 2020, since you know since before the pandemic. So talk about how special it is to have this first card outside the state of Florida on WrestleMania weekend. Oh, it's, it's so special for us, man, because like you said, we've been at the performance center here performing for, um, for a while. And, um, you know, we're ready to get out. We're ready to get back out there and, and you know, go all over the place and, and perform in front of people everywhere, man. And um, we're just so excited here, man. We're so thankful that we get to, you know, we get to perform in Dallas and um, just get to be a part of that, that just, just incredible weekend of, of WWE, you know, WrestleMania is such a, such an honor and such a privilege to be a part of. And um, yeah, that's what you dream of when you, when you think about, you know, WWE is what you about when you think of when you're a kid is being a part of WrestleMania. So, I mean, it's unbelievable, man. It's, 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 it's just crazy. We we're just we're so excited here. We just can't wait. Yeah, I I, I tell you what, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great event again. NXT Stand and Deliver Saturday, April second at the American Airlines Center in Dallas. Bell time is one p.m. Eastern, noon Central. So it'll start high noon in Dallas. Tickets go on sale this Friday, starting at eleven a.m. Eastern, ten a.m. Central. Get them via via Ticketmaster. Check out the stars of NXT as they shine on that Saturday right before WrestleMania gets going. Uh, he is Braun Breaker. Follow him on Twitter at Braun Breaker WWE. Braun, man, thank you so much for some of your time. I know you're busy. you got a bunch of interviews today, but I appreciate you taking the time. 
All the best to you. Be well and be safe. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for having me.